welcome back to my channel. If we haven't even met before, my name is Shiv. Hello, if you're coming back, then welcome. In today's video, I have a PLT haul for you for the month of, what month are we in? July. <laughs> I was going to say June. The time is flying by. It is beautiful outside. And I picked up some bits recently for certain things. Some of them I've worn, some of them I haven't. There's a whole lot of fun going up in here. We've got PJs, bikinis, dress accessories all sorts so if you'd like to see what i got from plt for the month of july i'll be wearing some of these bits in august as well probably then please carry on watching i'll be doing try on clips throughout this video i'll be having my try on clip for you like just here and i'll give you a thumbs up thumbs down i'm not gonna lie sneak peek i love everything and i'm keeping everything besides one bikini <laughs> just to completely spoil the video but yeah if you'd like to see what i got then please carry on watching so i'm gonna start with a bag because i have actually put this through the wash today now <laughs> what a way to start off this video so i've already kind of used this bag i went into london lately for like a really fun like day and night out um, we went to like a spa and stuff so i needed like a bag to like take a bunch of stuff in and on the last day in london i got pooed on by a bird so that was great <laughs> kind of dulled my moment a little bit i won't lie but it was very embarrassing so this bag has been through the wash, hence why it probably looks darker at the bottom because it's still drying, but don't worry, it's clean, it, is, it has been sanitised. But I literally was just walking along near London Bridge and I was like walking and I just looked down and had bird poop in my hand. It was down my bag, it's great. But you know, they say it's lucky, so waiting for some luck to happen gonna bring me luck gonna bring me luck okay cool anyway this is what it looks like here so it is just an over the shoulder bag i thought this would be really good for like an overnight bag because there's loads of room in here it's just a big massive bag i don't think that it, oh, well, pockets on the inside i can't remember no so it's literally just like a big padded shoulder bag kind of like if you can see that obviously i'll link it down below so you can get a closer look at it but it's kind of got like it's like a padded design kind of looks like a puffer coat but in a bag and obviously you know because it's padded it could double up as a pillow if you needed it to if you were traveling a long distance but I thought this would be a good summer essential for like road trips for overnight stays at that kind of thing and I needed a bag like this that wasn't super like glam like my actual handbag so yeah I picked this up and I'm really really happy with it hopefully I don't get pooed on again <laughs> but yeah that's why it looks a bit darker at the end because it's still kind of wet from the wash but so that happened just wanted to share that little story with you it's not all glamour okay next up i got two bikinis one i and already know that i'm returning i'm not going to do a try and clip for the green one because if i'm completely honest i don't feel very comfortable in it i don't feel like my best self and i'm quite, not quite ready to share that with the camera but i will show it to you so it is this green tropical print bikini how can i show this to you so this is what it looks like kind of if you imagine from the front this is a green tropical print obviously it looked beautiful on the model i just didn't feel my best self when wearing it i felt a little bit self-conscious just because I don't know i feel like i wanted the strings to be a little bit thicker i know the strings on next bikini are the same size but i don't know i just wasn't feeling my best self in it but i do really like the actual print i think it's super fun i think this is why i wasn't keen on the bikini because the bikini top has no padding in it and i am someone if you've watched my hauls before i like a good push-up bra i like padding I like just extra boost in the booby region she says adjusting her cleavage but this is what it looks like so as you can see there's literally no padding it's just like a plain sheet of material i guess if you feel comfortable wearing that then absolutely go for it like it is a really really nice print and plt definitely have a lot of like good bikini options so i would definitely recommend this if this is your cup of tea one with absolutely no padding in it is adjustable like on you can kind of see that like under the bus so you can push it in which is what i did with the other one that i'll show you in a moment to kind of reduce the amount of coverage on your boob because if you show if you cover up a lip wait what if you show more of like your boob it makes the boob look bigger that's obviously something that's important to you because it's important to me i like to make my boobies look as big as they possibly can you know <laughs> there's a whole bunch of tricks that i like to do but yeah oh my god whoops i've spread it out all the way but as you can see it's super adjustable so i would definitely recommend that but i will be returning that okay now the bikini that i kept i have already used this which is why it looks a little bit disheveled because it has come out of the wash but it washed absolutely fine i'm gonna personally cut the tags out now that i know i'm like 100 keeping it because that just is gonna bug me but this one has um removable padding cups in it so you do have like a little bit of a boost there which made me feel a little bit more confident when wearing it i'm just gonna adjust it so i can show you but as you can see like i'm just kind of cinched in one side so i literally had it like this so it basically just covers your nipple and like a bit of your boob or if you wanted to you can stretch it like all the way out i guess if you also have bigger boobs that would be helpful i, f I would say i'm like a very average boob 
size i'm a <laughs> i'm a 34 c slash d for reference on the movie area and i am a size 10 and i am five foot five just for the whole like reference of this video i did forget to mention that this is what it looks like i will do i might do a try and clip if i'm feeling brave of the bikini top and i'll pop that in somewhere if i'm feeling brave but i can't promise anything if not i'll just stick a photo of the model so you can see what it looks like but absolutely love this bikini it's pink with like snake skin very very up my street and then the bikini bottoms obviously are in the same print i have worn them hence why they are tied up still so that's what it looks like that's wait what that's the front and that's the back so it's basically the same size which i feel like is nice because it still kind of shows your butt cheek but it's not a full-on thong bikini so yeah really like that and i think it feels like really nice quality so love that who'd have thought i'd be in a bikini this year may not be on a beach but was in a spa was lovely okay so next up is another item that i've already worn and i absolutely love it i haven't got a picture of this of me in this dress yet and i really want to get a cute pic so hopefully this will be on the gram soon cheeky self-promotion go follow me on the ground for fashion pictures but this is a slinky kind of zip down dress all the way down it's a kind of mini dress but it's a decent length like it covers a lot i would say it's like a longer style of mini dress um and i'm obviously 5'5 five five, so i'm quite sure it's that slinky material i probably would advise to go down a size i could have definitely gotten away with an eight in this kind of dress and i think it would have been a little bit more flattering and like more fitted but the 10 is still really really nice and i love like the ruche detail down the middle it's so flattering and i do love a good like a top or a dress with that zip down feature because you can just like have it super conservative not that i ever have it like that um or you can like literally go to town and have cleavage everywhere so we love that and i have my little try and clip for you here i absolutely love this dress it's so nice i did go to buy the size 8 when i tried this on which is a 10 and it was sold out but i will link the dress down below because i'm sure it will come back or come back in different colors as well quite a cool like print as well with that like blue kind of brownie sort of print it's really nice and then another dress that i have worn is this i do love myself a fitted midi dress just plain i love wearing it with trainers biker boots they're just i feel feel like that is like my staple item just you just chuck it on and you've got an outfit then yeah definitely there you go discovered it. it's my my staple item and it is this really really nice ribbed sort of midi dress obviously it just goes all the way down there's not really much to show you it's just one color that like terracotta orange i want to say with buttons down at the sort of cleavage area and long sleeved this material i tell you by the way so soft so 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 soft yeah and it's nice and breathable as well like i didn't feel like it clung to me and i got this in a size 10 just for reference i think everything i got in a 10 this time yeah i did but yeah i really really like this dress i feel like again i didn't get a picture in it but i will do so follow me on instagram but i feel like you could even bring this into like autumn winter time because of the colour with like biker boots <laughs> I just love everything with biker boots but yeah biker boots made like a faux leather jacket sorted and because it's like really long it'll keep your legs warm and it's like this material so soft so so soft I need like a pillow with this anyway love that dress next up i got some pjs which i haven't worn yet i was going to bring them to london for the overnight stay that i had recently in a hotel and i completely forgot them but that is fine um, so i picked up these pajamas which honestly i've had my eye on since christmas time and when i was doing this little shop i was like i'm just gonna get them while i'm here and i remember and they are the probably quite famous plt satin pajamas i got the short sleeved top but it just has a pretty little thing across the top i don't feel like that's too garish sometimes i don't like it when it's like plastered all over the clothing item but i actually think that's quite cute in this like red satin so nice actually quite nice for summer i think i have the coldest room in the house and i'm quite a cold not a cold person that sounds bad i'm a warm-hearted person but i get cold quite easily so i feel like if i can have these in summer i don't know where i'm going with this but basically yeah i think you could wear these in summertime and they are just so so cute i've wanted them since christmas so obviously i just had to treat myself and then also these are the matching bottoms they came as a set they've got like tons of colors they've got like ivory like a pink a stripe i personally love the red ones and then these are the bottoms they're just like elasticated shorts i'm quite happy that i got shorts this time they have a really beautiful pair of satin pjs from misguided but they are long and i do wear them quite often but where I'm really sure like I kind of trip up on the bottom so I figured I would get this one that comes with the little shorts instead again perfect for summer as well they would also probably be quite good if you wanted to fake tan because they're so like loose on the ends and I feel like the tan will wash out of these quite well so yeah but I obviously don't want to ruin them to start off with because they are so so cute okay finally I have three items to show you but it's all part of a set so I will just show you all together I picked up this cute like loungewear code that I feel like 
I would wear like out of the house like it's a very casual kind of vibe for summer maybe or like hangover days <laughs> things like that or maybe even to the cinema or something like super casual cute outfit and I just fell in love with this so if you've been a subscriber of my channel for a while you know I love New York and there was a phase where whenever I go shopping I would just buy everything that said New York or NYC on it or something like that don't know why but I'm I'm trying not to go back into that phase but I couldn't help it New York <laughs> and they are these sweatshirts shorts i got everything in a size 10 i've already tried these on so i know they fit really nice i recently got a pair of sweatshorts from primark and they were actually absolutely massive on me i still wear them like it's comfort and stuff but they're not like flattering whereas these ones i would wear out the house they've got a nice big pocket which i do appreciate <gasps> they've got pockets on both sides you know like if you are like someone who wears girls clothes you know how annoying it is when there's no pockets on them so yeah there's nice pockets little shorts i feel like that could just look cute with a pair of like white trainers and socks and stuff just to nip out and do errands or again hang over like sunday lunch or something i don't know Sunday lunch? Maybe not Sunday lunch. Maybe like Sunday cafe. <laughs> and then I obviously got the, and then I got the crop top to match. Just flip that back there, which looks like this. So it's kind of got like that elasticated, like ribbed bit on the bottom. And it says New York on the front as well. So I think this is nice because you can kind of wear it around the house without a bra, or you can put a bra on to make the girlies happy. The way I shop, I always shop around a bra. I figured that out now. And I need to kind of stray away from that because there are some gorgeous backless dresses, but I'm like, but you can't wear a bra <laughs> um so maybe i need to venture out does anyone else have this problem let me know but yeah i thought that was really cute so obviously you've got the top and then the shorts so obviously you could just wear that on its own but then when it does get a little bit chilly like in the evenings like with wind i also picked up the matching sweatshirt as well so it's like a whole vibe you could tie it around like your side to be like a super cool super cool gal maybe oh and i just got this in a size medium for reference it's also got that really nice like fleecy lining to it so nice i cannot wait to wear this i'm actually hosting like a little party soon at my house like fairly small party party and I feel like I actually kind of want to wear the shorts coat because I will just be like the comfiest host ever but absolutely love that but yeah very happy with my haul I feel like in the past few hauls I've done like really really well and that's because like I've mentioned before I'm shopping in outfits for certain things and then obviously I can wear the clothes whenever so yeah Whew. I feel like I spoke at 100 miles per hour throughout this video but I really hope you enjoyed watching this video if you did like anything leave a comment down below let me know how you are give this video a big thumbs up if you did enjoy it don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already i really appreciate it hit that notification bell so you're alerted when i upload a new video follow me on my social media pages i'm on instagram tiktok facebook and twitter siobhan makeup is on everything and i hope you're all good i'm in a good mood the sun is shining good things are happening a lot of stuff is going on like kind of in my personal life all good things but i've just been very like distracted and very busy at the moment um but i feel like i want to do kind of like a life update style video very soon let me know if that's something that you would want to watch let me know but i might do like a chit chat get ready with me kind of old school and give you some life updates very soon because a lot of stuff going on in the moment just everything is all happening at once but all good things I'm just gonna lean here anyway <laughs> i'm just a bit out of breath from talking but i hope you enjoyed this video and i shall see you next time thanks so much for watching bye